Good morning and welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. Yes, you are, and I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us today. We have decided that this is our official uh, look now. I'm going to yes. be on this side. We're switching sides. Side. We should yeah. have switched for the new year, just like a just new year like start. Yeah, like it meant something. We're a month early, though. <laughs> well, we I've are. Always, we discovered yesterday, Kelly discovered, we, how did we, we actually We took a picture. Switch? Oh, we did. a picture. And I said, I want to be on that side. And you said, and why I said, do you want to be on this side? I said, because I think this is my best side, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, you said, well, I've always liked that side. I've always wanted to sit on this yeah. side. And we switched one time, and you said, it feels weird, so you switched back. Well, I think Remember it just that? felt weird. <clears throat> Listen, boy, I froggy. I said, it just felt weird because I'd always been on that side. Right. And what's funny is, I could not tell you if I have a good side. You know what? I don't know. I, I don't know. I know either. Mariah Carey. Definitely has a good side. She always she refuses to take a photo from a certain side. Really? If you notice all of her album covers, her face is turned a certain, certain way. I like this song. Yeah, isn't that funny how you? Yeah. Well, you know what? Honestly, when I was younger, I don't really know that I had a side. But maybe uh, something's happened, or I have never one looked. side's gone awry. <laughs> I don't know. We should take photos of both our sides and, and have the viewers vote. Okay. What's my best? All right. Side? Well, let's. Hey, let's. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Put up your red shoe. We've got a red shoe day right here going on. This okay? was not planned. No, it wasn't planned. But we. I just. We've got. We this. felt like wearing red. Yeah, I'm gonna turn so it. Oh, go. there we go. Let me turn it sideways. There you Criss go. Crisscross applesauce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, so, I wanted yes. to wear red shoes because I'm wearing a green shirt and the blazer had red in it. I thought yeah. I'd bring the. But you know, I should have worn. What? Remember my red glitter shoes. Oh, we didn't talk about it. We, we just didn't, didn't discuss it. And I it. call yeah. this blazer my classy Christmas blazer. I feel classy in oh, this Oh, you one. feel, well, because I love the white, it pops. It pops with yeah. the pattern. I feel like I should be going to like a White House dinner. Yeah. Or with the queen. Well, yes. And she'd be like, Jeremy. Jeremy, you look so you. damper You're so evening. dashing, darling. <laughs> I shall knight you, Sir Jeremy. <laughs> Sir Jeremy. You can't knight yourself, because look but at she the, can knight the you. the trees and the little reindeer. I know, it's a cute jacket. It's a very cute jacket. Maybe you'll share a jacket with me one of these days. But I want to tell you about last night. Oh, I will share a jacket with you. I have. I know you, you. You have too many to get through the because we've only got a couple weeks. I know we really do. I know. So last night was the first annual gala at uh, the back lot to benefit least of these and also a hundredfold. I learned uh, more about a hundredfold because they. I haven't heard as much about them. I don't even know what that or, is. Yeah, and well, they're just an organization that helps people that need help. And here's a photo of Jen, John Meyer, and myself. Uh, it was a fun evening. We had a great time, kind of laid back. Uh, the Bear Tones, have you ever heard them? Yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. From yep. Missouri State? Yep, yeah. they were there. They performed like four to six songs, and we should have them on the show. Um, Kel, I've already emailed them about that last year, and it didn't work out. You know what happened, though? Because I talked to them about it. <clears throat> they're not excited about the six o'clock. Uh, Sound check. Right. So what? I know. So I tried to get them on. I think that's the thing. So they're what they're hoping is that maybe they can perform on the afternoon show and then maybe you know see us later. <laughs> Those bare tones. Those bare tones. I'm telling you, years of doing morning shows in Branson, we're used to that. I know. We, we can are. sing in the morning. That's right. Joe, how is your voice early in the morning? Preaching. Oh, my voice is terrible, and I'm grumpy in the morning. <laughs> oh. I'll talk about sleep in a minute. All right. I actually have a headline for you with that, but. You see those red shoes, not too bad. I'm talking Crocs this morning, though. Actually, you're from Texas. Yes. You familiar with Chicken Express? Yes, I love Chicken Take Express. Take a look. Take a look, Chicken <laughs> Express. You know this place is a good chicken joint? Oh, my gosh. I eat there every time I go home to Texas. Okay. Post Malone worked there in high school. Do you guys know this? I did not know that. All right. Look at this picture. That's Post Malone as a kid before being a rapper. That is awesome. He designed Crocs to be released, and he went to his old workplace. This is in South Lake. And oh my so, gosh, my cousin used to be the mayor of South Lake. There you go. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. You, if you went this to this Chicken Express, you. Jeremy, you got free Crocs with your chicken order. Free Crocs? Can I just. Post Malone's repopularized them. All right. Because he loves gotcha. them so much. This is so mm -hmm. comfortable. I, wanna, I need to look up Post Malone's background now because I will yeah. just say this, okay? Two things. When I go home, my mom always brings home Chicken Express oh, at yeah. least once. I didn't once. know about this place. It looks great. It I is so good. I watched that video for a while. And if Post Malone <laughs> grew up in South Lake, yeah. he got some money. Yeah, okay. Oh, really? Like South Lake is hmm. extremely wealthy, full oh. of rich people. My cousin lives there. I never did. <laughs> He's part of the rich side of the family. Okay. We are not, and he was the yeah. mayor of South Lake. But at least oh, my parents taught him the value of the hard earned dollar because yeah. he worked right. at Chicken That's Express. Right. At Chicken Express. Good for uh, him. Because you know he's all Hollywood now and lives out there for his yeah. career and things. He has told me Whataburger, oh, not me, I'm watching an interview. Yeah, yeah. Whataburger over In N Out. <laughs> and I fully agree. Oh, I disagree. Fully I agree. grew up in Texas with Whataburger, and I still love In N Out. I'm more. Team Post Malone on that. Go Whataburger. Both great.
but wow. hey, let's talk okay, sleep let's again, talk, all right? Oh, Those please. baritones are asleep right now. Yes, right? they are. We talked about mattress firm needing snooze interns. Snooze turns, right? <laughs> How good does this bed look right now, guys? Amazing. Yeah. That was before. That was months ago. WakeFit is a new, a new startup that's looking for sleep interns to sleep nine hours every day. And the <gasps> qualifications list is hilarious for this. You must have a fanatical passion for sleep and an innate ability to fall asleep at the slightest given opportunity. Right? I uh -huh. think I qualify still. Uh -huh. All right. So they'll pay you 1400 bucks for it. Your basic qualifications include a completed degree in any field with a history of falling asleep during class. <laughs> well, that. You guys have that? Hand, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Or being able to fall asleep within 10 to 20 minutes of hitting the pillow. Okay. Uh, you Joe, can do that? Mm. Joe, I used to, but not anymore, so I'm yeah. out. Yeah. Also this, this is what knocks out Elisa and myself probably. Strict guidelines against caffeine. You can oh, basically uh -huh. <laughs> You can only drink chamomile tea in the time. Nine hours a night for a hundred days for fourteen hundred bucks, but no caffeine other than some chamomile. See well ya. that's great. Mm -hmm. That helps you sleep the chamomile. Maybe I could do it if I could just get rid of the caffeine, but that's just what we have to have to keep us going. So <laughs> that is maybe what that we need, work. right? And fourteen hundred dollars ain't worth it for no coffee. You think Listen, so? I don't that's care. True. I don't even point. care about the fourteen hundred dollars. I just want some sleep. Come on now. There it is. Oh, there it is. Hey, there you go. Interesting no. stuff though today, right? Yeah, very good, Joe. We appreciate you. I want chicken, you. chicken express so bad. I'm not yeah. kidding you. I will bring you somewhere. I'm going to Texas in a few weeks. I'll bring you some. You're gonna bring some back. I love it. Thank you. Good morning, Elisa. So what about that sleep study? What do you think? Could you do without the caffeine? No, need it all the time. Um, we've got to be.